QuickBooks Online Credit Card Payment How to Record. Hey there, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. All right, so I'm going to show you how to record a credit card payment here in QuickBooks Online. We are using the sample company file that's in QuickBooks Online, Craig's Design and Landscape Services. Now, there's going to be generally two times that you're going to make a payment to a credit card. One is going to be at random times throughout the month, let's say, because some people like to just send payments and keep that balance down, that, you know, you're going to record payments then. And then when you get your statement and you have to make either the minimum payment due or you pay off the balance or whatever the case may be. Now, this video is going to focus on the first one. And the reason is, is because the normal process in QuickBooks for credit cards is you record all your charges. So you go in and you record all your charges on your credit card. Then you reconcile your credit card. And once you reconcile it, just like a checking account, QuickBooks will ask you if you want to make a payment or enter a bill. And when you go through that process with your statement, you make your payment at that point in time. Now, in this case, when you make payments during the month, you have to know how to record those payments. And that's what I'm going to show you here. All right, so first off, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to the new button and you can choose either expense or check. I'm going to choose check just because that's sometimes a little bit more self-explanatory for people. All right, so the first thing is we're going to choose the payee that we are paying. Now, I don't believe there are any credit cards set up in this account as vendors, so I'm going to pick one. We're gonna say the credit card company is Fidelity. All right. All right. So we are paying this out of the checking account. And let's assume that we just went online and made a payment. And so we do not need a check number. We can just go in and put EFT since this is electronic. Now, here's the kicker down here. You do not put this to an expense account. All right. A payment on a credit card is not an expense in your books. It is a payment of a liability. All right, so I'm going to type in MasterCard. We'll pull up the credit card and we're going to type in the payment amount. We'll say $150 and we're done. All right, so the important thing to remember here is that anytime you make a payment on a credit card, you do not put it to an expense, you put it to the liability. And that's because when you charge something on a credit card, it's an expense when you charge it and it creates a liability. You now owe the credit card company this money. They paid for it on your behalf and now you owe them. So when you make a payment, like in this case, you're going to put it to pay down that liability. Simple as that. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in another video.